Ice Cuber. So today, this is gonna be a tutorial on how to become a speed cuber. So first, of course, you're gonna need a speed cube. So there are going to be three different price range ranges I'll be covering. So the first one is under $10. I've signed it. Here we go. And it's actually really good. If you want a cheap cube, get this. So I put a little bit of lube in it, broke it in for a few months, and it feels nice. So the only way to describe it. I did loosen the screws a little. Um, but this cube is nine dollars. The RS3 M 2020. If your budget is around thirty, try the M the YJ MG3 Elite. This is the best for the price. I just said. Once you go higher than this, you don't get that much of an improvement. So the YJ MGC3 Elite is $25. And I did get one with lube service once. It's not exactly worth it unless you're a beginner and you don't know how to lube. But if you don't have that much of a budget, this cube is my main. It is the GAN 11M Duo. I've heard the GAN 11M Pro is also really nice. I have it, but I have it with glass internals and I put a ton of lube in it, so it might not be as good as it can be. But I really like this cube. But yeah, so that's it for cubes, at least right now. So, on to the next thing. How do you time yourself? Of course, a timer. So, you can get a stack map. The way it works, you turn it on, so that you're gonna put your hands on it. Once the light turns green, take them off, solve your cubes, then just put both hands on at the same time, it'll stop it. And then to reset it, and press the like little re or like circle button, that yellow one. And you're going to press that, and then you can start a new time. So it's a really nice timer. Um, it's the official WCA, which is the World Cube Association timer. It's technically used for cup stacking, as you can see, but it's also really good for cubing, so that's why they use it. But it is $30, which is a bit pricey for a timer. So, if you also think that's a bit pricey, since I have like 20 things down here, I'm just gonna type it so I can just find it. Here it is. You can get a $10 YJ pocket timer. Fits perfectly in your pocket. So, this is kind of the same, except you have to go a little closer because it's motion activated. There's a little tap right here. It works pretty well. Like, I. You, like once you get used to it, it's fine. So yeah. Also, if you want, it comes where. So if you hold this, anything you do will like make a sound. So it comes with that on. But if you hold this button on the right, it'll say off or on. There. So it's now just turned off. And there's no noises. It's really nice. But okay, you might need a mat because when you drop your cube on the table, a 
piece could A, pop out, or B, possibly like get a dent in it, or just break. And I don't want a cube, it's all messy. So I'm going to use a mat. I, so I use this, which is just like a dish towel that I found in my house. But you can buy like big mats, like this big, for like 10, 15 bucks. And I'm like, why is it worth it? So I just use this, like that. Yeah. Like sometimes it'll tumble, but <sighs> that's it for mats. Um, you can also get like, mini mats, which are like five. It's like I guess, I guess, but like not really. On to some lube. This is all my lube lubricant. So I have a huge thing of weight five. It's gonna cost ten dollars. So just some little bits if you can. So it's cost ten dollars, but I have to say it'll probably last me a good like year. Or so I got this from the recent competition I went to. I covered that in the last video, or two videos ago actually. Track to fifty k. Track to fifty k. Um, wait, five for dash or fuel. And D nine thirty seven. Some movable silk. Tracks to 60k and weight 3. So I got a lot of this lube in discount at the recent competition I went to. I also have some ancient big toss and gravitas, DNM37, compound X, Lubical Speedy, and more DNM37. But you don't need all that. All I'd really recommend is some weight 5. A little bit of DNM 37 and some grab and some grab toss and big toss. So on to some other things. Lube is like you don't need it, but it's really nice to have. And it'll last you a while. So this is thinking. Put it and you're like, you probably are like, why are you thinking putty? Open. Ah, there we go. But it's actually a different reason you might expect. But so I use this to warm up my hands a lot of days. Like if you wake up, your hands are probably all like scrunched up or whatever. You're probably turning really bad. But I use this to just loosen up my fingers and my hands. And it really works really well. You can also use it for other things, honestly. But I really like it. You don't need it, but I think it's nice to have. And then on to some of the optional puzzles. So. This is a Pyraminx, by far one of the easiest things to solve other than the 3x3, after you solve the 3x3 of course. So there's that. I also think you should maybe get a 2x2. Two two. These are the two like puzzles other than a 3x3 three three that you should get if you're if you're really looking at something. But if you want to like if you're looking at it as like something you're probably gonna do for a while, then I'd recommend either God, I have to reach back there every single time. A big puzzle like maybe a four by four or a mega mix. Or both if you really want. And I got this in a three dollar mystery puzzle. But it's a shape-shifting 2x2 pyraminx, I think. It's called a pyramorphix. Maybe it's something like a cube, something like that. I don't know. But, like, just some fun puzzles other than 3x3. Three three. But that's about it for um, what you should get. But if you want to know, like, what to get starting out, I say, in the 
this is not really price dependent right now. Oops. So this is what you should have if you want to become a speed keeper. So yeah, that will about wrap it up for the video. Um so I hope you enjoyed and also, there is some new stuff that might be coming to the channel soon. Hmm. Spoiler. So, but yeah, that's it. And see you next time and hope you enjoy the outro.